Hey fishing friend, JC here with Rad and Rally Fishing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to tie the quickest and easiest knot for lures, swivels, and hooks using fluorocarbon or monofilament leader line or main line. Get a hook or lure or swivel in one hand, grab your leader line or main line in the other hand, pinch it at about seven or eight inches above. Remember the formula, two in the front, two in the back. You're gonna take this line and twist it one in the front. Did you see that? One in the front, pinch it. Two in the front and pinch it. That second one is a little bit bigger. Take that second loop, put it in the back of the first loop and pinch everything together. Don't let any of those loops twist out of position. Take your tag in, put it through the eye of your hook, lure, or swivel. Then grab the tag end here. Now you're gonna take that tag and you're gonna put it through the back of that second loop that you, you made. So put it through the back of the second loop and then grab the tag end like that. And then you're gonna take that tag end and just pull it downward, okay? Grab your lure, your hook, your swivel, and, uh, and then pull it tight, tight. Now I'm gonna show you some variations of this knot. It locks down instantly, it's super strong, and it is super fast, but I wanna show you how versatile this knot is, so don't click off and start practicing it. And uh, yeah, let me show you why I love using this knot. All right, so not only is this knot super easy and quick, but it's easy to adjust. It's called a canoe man loop knot. So let me do that again. I'm gonna take my lure, get it in this hand. I'm gonna do one loop in the front, another loop in the front, take the second loop, put it in through the back, pinch it all together, take my tag in, put it through the eye of the lure, then take the tag in, put it through the back of the second loop. Two in the front, two in the back. Now what makes this knot so awesome is you see how those lines are intersecting. When I just put it through that second loop, if I take that right right where the, the tag end went through the second loop, if I take that where they both attach and I pull it right down to the eye of the lure or the hook and I pull that tight, that knot will actually lock into place right on top of the eye of the hook. So you have adjustment with that. Let me show you what I mean by that. Do it with a swivel. So here's what I mean by the adjustment, okay? Um, one in the front, two in the front, in the back, and then thread it through the eye of whatever it is that I'm attaching, right? So here's where the beauty of this comes in. The adjustment comes in when you put that tag in through the back. If you wanna have a really large loop, all you do is where, where those lines connect, right there, where those lines are, <laughs> right where you brought that tag end through, where those lines connect, that's where it's adjustable. If you want a big loop, you can pull it tight right there when the union is way up over whatever it is that you're attaching with the knot, right? Or let me show you again. One in the front, two in the front, one in the back, through the lure swivel or hook, one in the back. Now here's where the adjustability comes in. You see I can pull that right down on top of the hook swivel or the lure and pull it down tight and look at that that knot is right down tight on top of it so this is a great knot and knot is quick it is strong and it is versatile you guys i use it for tying on top water lures paddle tails j hooks circle hooks swivels it is so much easier than a clinch knot and the thing about it is is when you cinch that knot down it locks down in place instantly i never have to worry about that knot slipping or coming undone anyway i'm encouraging you learn how to tie the canoe man loop not you'll be glad that you did and everybody get out there and go fishing man life is fun live it see ya